I sat on my bed and the Holy Spirit asked me, what would you rather have? Would you rather have a thriving relationship with me or continual academic excellence? I was in the stage of my life where academic excellence was what I used to, to, to define me. I didn't know a life out of academic excellence. I didn't know a life without having that one thing. I felt like I didn't have any other thing in my life i've talked about this before how you know before my identity was in my looks and i didn't know what i was or who i was without that one thing that was what everybody you know i mean that was how i made friends that was how i felt like i i, I mattered that's how i valued myself because at least i i i, I looked a particular way and when I entered a phase where that was kind of taken away from me, when I no longer felt, it wasn't taken away from me, I felt like I no longer had that. I felt, I felt like it had been stripped from me and now my academics were what I was holding on to, to feel like I mattered, to feel like I had a place in this world, to feel like I was valuable. So for the Holy Spirit to be asking me at that moment, I felt like it was just wrong. I, was, I felt like, why would you ask me something like that? Why would you want me to give up this thing that makes people like me, that makes people walk up to me and want to be my friend, that makes people talk to me. Out of this, I don't know how to make friends. Out of this, I don't, I'm one of those people who can walk up to another person and like strike a conversation and then before you know it, they are friends, they are lifelong friends, they have built a connection. I don't know that. This is what I have. This is what pulls people to me. This is what makes people think that I am worthy enough to, to be connected to, to, to be affiliated with. Why would you ask me if I'll be okay giving this up? And I know that lo logically, if you think about it in a logical sense, choosing between God and anything, it should be easy to choose god because it's he's god he in him everything is embodied in him there is everything but at that moment it just felt so cruel <sighs> and i don't know if the word is cruel but it just felt like i can't make this choice you can't be asking me to choose this and if i'm being very honest with me, like myself if i have to choose I'm going to choose my academics. I don't think I'm ready to give this up. Who would I be without this? And as as if <laughs> as if God was kind of playing some joke. <laughs> I didn't enter the phase where I struggle. I think that many people have I've heard this a lot where people especially like leaving secondary school and then entering university people people who were before like these really really good students now enter a phase in the university where they feel lost and i feel like there's there are a lot of reasons that are associated with that there are many things i don't want to go into the details of that because if i want to be practical about it there are things that could have been like predictors yes of of, of why it was easy prior to university and why you struggle in university probably because of a faulty foundation of how to approach learning of how to approach making mistakes of how to approach prioritizing tax of how to approach being able to to multitask you know and i don't want to get into the details of that but then i still got to a place where i felt like my academic excellence was somehow stripped away from me and i felt i felt like it was unfair i felt like well not really unfair i felt like i had lost my value what is there about me right now what 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 defines me who am i i don't know who am i it's like i'm now lost i'm like i don't know what to do if i'm not going to be the top students if i'm not going to be the one who receives all the praise about academics what do i do i don't have any other thing i, I feel like i don't have any other thing apart from this god being god ushered me into a season where i began to know him i began to develop a relationship with him i began to connect with him i began to hear his voice i began to speak to speak speak to him and speak with him i began to fall in love with jesus i began to know him for who he truly is i began to see and to know with all of my being 
all of my being that if i have him i have everything that i am enough in him that i don't need any external validation in order to feel worthy or valuable or needed i am valuable i am worthy because he says so i am valuable and i am worthy because i have him on my side i am fulfilled in him if jesus is everything that i have then i have everything and i just want to this is something that is so i'm so passionate about because i feel like so many people go through life so many people go through life feeling like they need more feeling like they they need something that they don't already have that that emptiness inside your heart is is resounding is is getting too loud the silence inside is getting too loud and you feel like you just need something to complete it or you feel like you need something more for some people it's money for some people it's fame you know <laughs> doing things because you just want to be applauded because you want to be validated by other people desperate for the applause of man and i think i i know that this sounds so so lofty and so abstract but these are it must not even be in the big things it must not be in the big things it might even be nothing that you you're doing because it's good giving to the poor doing some charitable work being kind but it's really deep down because you just want somebody to say hey you just want somebody to notice you you want to be noticed you want to be liked you want to have connection with people you want to feel like somebody is interested in you you want to feel like you matter to somebody you matter to jesus so much so that he gave his life up for you and i want you to know that and when you go through life i want you to know that you don't need to do anything from a place of lack of a place of emptiness if you have jesus i want you to walk like you do live from, a, from an overflow of him if people don't like you it's their problem if people don't applaud you you're going to keep doing what god has called you to do if you fail it's okay because you already have the victory you are already on the winning side if if something is taken away from you if a role that your view to define yourself is taken away from you you can rest on the fact that you have jesus you can rest on the fact that your identity is not in that thing you can rest in the fact that you are enough you are enough you are enough you are enough with jesus you are enough so yes i did have five a levels five a grades it was a perfect score i was the best in the country i guess at the age of 15 i was 14 at the start of the academic year at some point i, I turned 15 and now am i am i back to a place of having all these things that i felt were stripped away from me i don't think so because i feel like i have more do i desire to do i desire these things yes but not as much as i desire jesus i i don't desire them from a place of of neediness if they come fine if they don't i'm perfectly satisfied i'm content in him i'm content in him and i'm going to keep on doing and being and it's really not about the doing because this is another another thing that people who struggle with their identity and that's that's really all of us people who struggle with their identity are often focused on the doing on doing this on doing that on doing this on doing that just be be a child of god be a daughter of the most high be in a relationship with jesus yeah